Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climbing... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. Jarvis, Papa's home. You can remove the child lock on the tech lab. Apologies, sir. It's out of my proverbial hands, as Master Bruce is busy with some rewiring. Do I want to know what's going on here? Hey, Tony. Just lending my, um... Technical knowledge to Bruce here. Well, I can see I have my work cut out for me. Not helping, Tony. I'm Phil Sheldon, reporting live from somewhere in rural. Europe. Ah, the old commissary. Oh, oh, I'm live. Okay. Following Ames' emergency public warning today, I can confirm that Iron Man. Wait, wasn't this working before? Okay, Jarvis, time me. 1.04 seconds, sir. Huh, guess I'm a bit rusty. Jarvis, pop question, where do we keep the spark plugs? The initiator cores can be found in the far corner of the lower deck, sir. Correct, Amundo. Do I win a prize now, sir? You win the biggest prize of all, my affection. How exciting. Oh yeah, that looks perfectly up to safety standards. I think I found the problem. I just... Oh! It's definitely the initiator cores. Wait, don't the bigger aimbots use similar cores? If we could get a hold of one, I could get this old bird in the air in no time. Indeed, sir. But someone would need to procure said initiator cores. Yeah, I barely have a suit. Maybe I could cobble something together. 
I'll search inventory for leftover pieces of armor. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Tony, I'm still working on the door, but can you check on Kamala? I think she may have turned off her comms. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, this whole thing, it's uh, probably a... Tough adjustment. You got it. Second floor of the old crew quarters, right? Jarvis, can you see if she's even up there? Sir, there are no surveillance systems in the private quarters. Whose terrible hippie idea was that? Yours, sir. Right. Whoa. <gasps> hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying. Uh, I was knocking fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm going to meet up on the command deck in about ten minutes. You should, uh, should come. I know, I... I look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Man... No, 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 no. We all do. It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? Flowing robe? Vegas shoulder pads? Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. It's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what? Maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> Rose, the kid's fine. She's tough. Kind of like her. And she laughs at my jokes. Yeah, she, uh, she grows on you. Hey, uh, meet me at the tech lab. I've almost got this door fixed. You got it, stretchy pants.
You're still working on this door, huh? Well, I just need to remove the entire junction box and reconnect the... Ah! Great job, buddy. See? Wasn't so hard. Home sweet home. All right, if we're gonna get anywhere, we'll need to establish an alternate power source. The Chimera was built for Terrigen, but I can convert it to run on something a little less explodey. I'm scanning the region for sources, but it'll take some time to identify potential initiator core heat signatures. Well, in the meantime, I need a new suit. Where can I find parts to repair the fabrication unit? I've located a good salvage spot and have sent the coordinates to the war table, when you're ready. War table, got it. Fix the fabrication unit, get a shiny new suit, and get this bird off the ground. be any help fixing up the Chimera without my own upgrade. Jarvis, what do you got for me? AIM is moving an experimental dropship, which could be appropriated for parts to repair the fabrication machine. Unfortunately, it's extremely well guarded. But AIM's local defenses are designed around a large-scale air assault. If I fly in alone, using the canyon for cover, I should be able to slip through and jack the dropship. It's risky, but I don't see an alternative at this point. I'll upload the dropship's last known location to your HUD. The canyon walls prevent me from fully confirming the intel. I suggest you work quickly. Well, I'm not exactly rocking a state-of-the-art suit, but it should get me there in one piece. Two, max. We need to move fast. Updating your HUD. AIM appears aware of our intrusion. How about we call this a surprise visit? Intrusion makes it sound like we're the bad guys. Noted, sir. Acquisition trip it is. I'm not sure how long our quarry will remain at its location. I hear you. We should hurry. how many of AIM's systems look closely related to your design. George never was an original thinker. Makes them compatible though, which is handy. The metaphorical clock is ticking, sir. I know, buddy. We need to get the Chimera airborne before AIM finds her, and I need a proper suit. How much firepower does AIM have down here? Rather a lot, it would seem. And how much was built with tech they stole from Stark Industries after A-Day? It's impossible to say at this stage. Possibly rather a lot. Karma is not my friend.
You have one minute remaining. The suit's doing great. Isn't calling it a suit rather generous? Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Make the AI sassy, I said. It'll be fun, I said. You have 30... That elevator goes to the landing pad we need. Gotcha. Look at all this. Which nation state is aimed planning to go to war with? Those munitions also appear similar to your designs. Makes a guy sort of want to blow them up. You have 30 seconds remaining. Drop and get gone, before AIM brings the big guns, literally. I quite agree, sir. It's safe to say Dr. Tarleton would relish the chance to dance on your grave. Thanks, Jarvis. Now I'm stuck with a mental image of George doing the robot on my headstone. Apologies, sir. If I'm correct, the dropship should be just up ahead. Well, this place looks homey. Where the hell is my dropship? Scanning. The dropship was moved to a more secure location ahead. We can't get there before it takes off. We can if we overcharge the suit by 300% and take the direct route. Sir, you might literally explode, and that canyon is treacherous. Sure, but I feel the need for speed. Do it, Goose, and play something fast. Your suit won't last forever. This suit's all I've got left after George burned Golden Acres to the ground. I'm not losing it. Gloves are making weird noises. Unsurprising. You just lost an acoustic dampening circuit. All systems are red. You don't say. I think my elbows are on fire. Dropship's powering up. Keep going, sir. Jarvis, this is my shot to make up for A-Day, help the kid, and, if I'm honest, stick it to Georgie Boy. You're damn right I'll keep going. Watch out! Their artillery is targeting you! Incoming! On it!
Your suit won't last forever. This suit's all I've got left after George burned Golden Acres to the ground. I'm not losing. Gloves are making weird noises. Unsurprising. You just lost an acoustic dampening circuit. All systems are red. You don't say! I think my elbows are on fire! The dropship's powering up. Keep going, sir. Jarvis, this is my shot to make up for A-Day, help the kid, and, if I'm honest, stick it to Georgie Boy. You're damn right I'll keep going. Watch out. Their artillery's targeting you. Incoming. On it! Dropship shielded. Use all the juice left in the suit to get an EMP burst ready for me to trigger. <laughs> Made it. Jarvis. Yes, sir. I've scanned the dropship and it contains the needed parts to repair the Chimera's fabrication machine. Excellent. Let's check in on the kids and head home. Bruce, Kamala, you read me? Loud and clear. Uh, Bruce is in the harm room pretending to be, uh... I don't even want to know. So, any luck out there? Success! We'll all be in new threads soon. The fabrication machine should be back online in no time. Great! Can't wait to make Bruce a new pair of yoga pants. Well, that was fun. Gotta say, it's nice to be back in the saddle. Yes, sir. You haven't missed a beat. Ah, glad to see that flattery upgrade kicked in. Now, let's take a peek at our loot. Ah, we hit the jackpot, buddy. This is exactly what I need to fix the fabrication machine. Glad to hear it. Especially as your current suit is now... How would you put it? Kaput. Hey, hey. Did the job, right? I thought this tech looked familiar. These are all based on my designs. Some are near exact. They're sure taking advantage of the Stark tech acquisition. I was kind of hoping they'd just sit on the assets. Utah residents, did you feel an earthquake this morning? Amazing, Jarvis? Take my picture. Well done, sir.
Finally feeling like my old self. Along with the fabrication machine, I've managed to route power to various other areas, including the inventory vault. I'm detecting some old equipment in your vault, sir. Should I incinerate it? What? No! That's not trash, Jarvis. It's my stuff. I'll go take a look. As you wish. Yeah, no. Not ready to crack open that project yet. See? Not trash. Indeed. I'm sure you'll use this to store many more treasures. Sir, representatives from our friends at S.H.I.E.L.D. are now aboard the Chimera. Agent Morales is in the command nest. She may be able to help with the parts needed for the ship. Great. Look forward to meeting her. Wanna go do some good? Hey there! I was told S.H.I.E.L.D. was in the house. I'm Agent Alessandre Morales. I'll be your point of contact for S.H.I.E.L.D. day to day. If you ever have any spare cycles, come see me. There's plenty that needs doing. Very nice to meet you, Morales. I need to find some parts to get this old girl in the air. Maybe I can kill two birds with one stone? Help out my old shield pals while I'm at it? Here's the info we have. Hopefully it's enough. Great. You'll help? Seriously? This is really going to make a difference. We need all the help we can get against AIM, so thanks. Yes, you gave us an upper hand against AIM. Sir, a new S.H.I.E.L.D. representative has joined us and is now stationed in the Commons area. Sir, in case you were wondering, your old room is still intact. You don't need a new outfit, but you definitely want one, right? I stayed up all night and you didn't buy anything? Such is life. Agent Levine is on the hangar deck. If you have a moment, he can likely assist in further upgrades of your equipment. I'll work harder to have something you'll want next time. Sir, my heat signature's scans have detected two potential sources of initiator cores. Potential? Why potential? Unfortunately, due to AIM security systems, determining the actual source of the heat signatures at this range is impossible. Ugh, another word I don't like. Okay, then we double our chances. Bruce, Kamala, meet me at the war table. We're on our way.
Still can't believe they found this thing. Miss you, buddy. <laughs>